team. Everybody, this is your boy Gotti on the Gotti's World podcast, and <laughs> this girl she just started already, man. She just started already. Can you hear me, bro? Cause I can't. I don't know my headphones is right. Can you hear me, Bruh, My God, I, I think I to pull out my shit because we laughing so hard. <laughs> you shook the room with that. One. Oh That's my God! Look, through. look, check this out, man. I got my homie. When I tell you, one of the biggest names. <laughs> one of the biggest names that I know. I'm and right. she got a whole bunch of shit going on, and we're going to figure that out today. Yes. And, y'all, yes. I want y'all to hear about it. The reason why I have her on here is because not only is she an inspiration to me, not only is have I seen her grow in many ways, even we didn't talk a lot, but I've seen her from afar do the most amazing things Thank you. that a lot of people... And even uh, a lot of people that we grew up with ain't touching. I'm thankful. That's I appreciate you. What? When I what? I got my girl. Got my girl. Y'all come. Kobe. Kobe. Miss Chapman, if you nasty. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah. We ain't gonna get into that though. But look, I'm just so happy that you're here. I'm thankful to be here. Seriously, I'm thankful to be here. Like, you really got it going on, girl. I see you everywhere. Wow. I see you everywhere doing major shit. If you ain't strutting with your sexy shit on, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't strutting with that on, you got your professional joint going on to where you're in the politics, where you doing a lot of things, giving back to villages in Ecuador. I don't think I didn't see that. I did my homework, baby. I did my homework. And we're going to get into that. But, but, man, I got to get to know. I know you, but I don't know you. Absolutely. So I want to actually get to know the person from the past, the present, and what you got going on to the future. For sure. All right? Man, first of all, major, major shout. Did y'all y'all didn't catch that intro? That's why everything failed, because I was just so taken aback. <laughs> the, the, the intro to Gotti's podcast is, is so official. And so major shouts to you, black you. man. Keep showing Thank us you. a different light and just communication for the world at large. Putting a, a, a spotlight on folks that very well likely wouldn't have a platform unless you gave it to them. So we're very thankful for you. Yeah. And I, too, have yeah. seen you just matriculate over time. We all went to Thorn Ridge. Shout out to the birds, the falcons. Why? It's, you know what? No, I'm, I'm a T-bird. Okay. Yeah, don't play. I'm a T-bird. You, okay. You in there. All right. All right. You, you but first of all, we ain't going to, we ain't going to, we, we not going to go past that. Would you say matriculate? Is that a T.I. word? Is that a T.I. word here? This is, a, yeah. It's we we yeah. all. Yeah, like I didn't know what it was, but we're going we gonna to keep it that way. T.I., we'll, shout out to my Libra brother. <laughs> we good with them words, y'all. Yeah. All, my, all my folks know I yes, get the little are. word play. Yes, but you are. But you have matriculated and matured, and it's just Dope. a testament to working hard. But uh, born and raised right here in the Burbs. Yes. From Harvey. Yes. Off LEX. Harvey World. Better known, LEX. Hey. Um, but went there, lived there all my life, even up into this current moment, to this current day. Um, That's what's up. So you still staying where you at? Yeah. Like this is this is what. Well, I ain't gonna say that much, but. Well, not where yeah. you at, but you still. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Close to where you Absolutely. need to be. Absolutely. Yeah. No, we here. We here in Harvey. I ain't gonna say I'm be there forever. No, but, no. Yeah, yeah. But we here. Okay. Yeah, okay. We, we right there. Now, let me ask you a question. Though. Yes. If we was to go back, if I was, you could take me back where a lot of things where you learned your character, some of the um, mindsets, the morals. If we can go back to talk to maybe your moms, your pops, how would they describe you as a kid? I've always, and anybody could tell you, I'm probably one of the most social people people of of my group the most social uh i've always been that free spirit i don't care who you were what you look like color creed background religion whatever it was i just found a way that 
aligned minds linked. Um, I think we all have a commonality, and I think that's been true to who I am since birth, since 87. Just finding common common things that likely people wouldn't hone in on because most people are we kind of afraid to like jump out and meet new people it's yeah. this 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 myth behind it you right you know no new friends i don't uh, uh adhere to that principle mm -hmm. you know because you're a student of life so you're gonna constantly meet and try and all those new things impart who you are so yeah. you yeah. you need those new experiences and so i would say since day one i've always been about that new experience i'm the one that's trying to get corral everybody anybody would tell you if i'm having a party i want the world there why not I let's that. all let's all celebrate and have a good time so that's just always been my motto um, i heard that I heard and that. i think i get it honestly from my parents i mean they they definitely showed me as a little one how to how to move a groove <laughs> so so what type of morals did they give you that you still even take to to this day and pass on to yours uh, I, I definitely would say the the idea of family and collaboration. You know, bridge building is so necessary and important. And ultimately, you need folks to, to get to that next thing, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And so I, I would also say, okay, being taught. You know, sometimes I can't take all the constructive criticism, but my parents have imparted that piece in me. Like, you have to re retrieve feedback from folks in order to be a greater person. Mm -hmm. And then I would just say... Um, just their overall love right uh, right their their love is is just something that's so fluid through and through you know really the idea of giving back and, and really being an altruist I've definitely learned from my mother and my father I've seen them give back in so many ways and sometimes not you know huge but they've always left with the with, with the piece that it's not about giving a lot it's just about giving I love that yeah why to me? Why it seem like as we get older, mm -hmm. we start to care. Mm. Like we start to just, just want to do more, give back, and all that. Like, and we just start taking things more serious. What made you really want to clean up Harvey? Uh, being a resident, so being a resident all my life, I left Harvey, the city of Harvey, at 17 to go off to Southern Illinois University of Carbondale. That's where I pursued both right. my bachelor's and my master's. And so I was gone for about six years. And right. uh, prior then to that, um, just as we going down memory lane, mm -hmm. I lived out in a little town called Roscoe, Illinois for a bit. And I was working in management with Walmart. Um, came back to the city and, and uh it's no secret. Everybody knows the the variety of things that has occurred in the city, but I felt here's an opportunity or a platform for me to really ignite my passion. Mm -hmm. My passion had already been put out there. It's never for a like and or for a view. It's always been something that's that's just truly what I wanted to do in a in a I, I guess the, the the boiling point of that is working in education. So upon me coming back, I began to work in education and I really got to devote my time specifically to young people that come from subsidized communities such as Harvey that really need a window of opportunity. So mm -hmm. all of that kind of flooded into, it's like, well, I'm home. Harvey is home. That's why I was born and raised everything right. straight from Ingalls, you know? So it was like, you know, you could do a, a, a multitude of things everywhere, but the home base is always most important. Mm -hmm. uh, in my research, Harvey was founded in 1891. No woman had ever ran for the second ward and or made that ballot. Yes. You so, was the first. And, and you were the first. And and I'm so grateful and thankful for that. And that movement, you know, it was it's much larger than me. My friends, I'm so thankful for the family and friends that I do, you know, have. And, mm -hmm. and everybody that just pours into you. Lo loves on because I'm right here. You know, shout what I'm out, saying? shout, shout out, out. You know what I'm shout out. You know, but it, it's family and, and friends, and that's what you know. Moving, moving to the beat of that drum, like I, I couldn't have done it without my friends and my family. So, seeing all those things, seeing the diversity that was needed, you know, as we're seeing right now with Kamala Harris, major shouts to her, yes, shout Biden, out. uh, as they're tentatively slating, will have the most diverse cabinet in the history you know, in the history of America. And so it was so important to me that women, I think in 2019, we came out in a very large way yes. to showcase who we were, what we were made of, something that's already known. Hell, nobody would be here if it wasn't for a woman. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Who you am I to argue saying? with that? I ain't going to yeah, argue with none of that. I ain't going to argue with none of that. You know, so I that, that was just really important to, to jump to that opportunity and see how I could personally make a difference right, right at home. 
you ran for two races, right? The primary and the general, right? Correct. And you were the first. Like I said, what was that feeling? What what was that in you and to 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 get past? The 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 feeling is unexplainable. I remember we were all at our you know at the house. Um, my aunt, shout out to my aunt. She was my campaign manager. My mom, my dad. Mm-hmm. I remember everybody. My dad flew in from Texas. My sister, my brother was there. The whole family, everybody was there. We were just in in, in pure re- rejoice that you know God shined His light down. And it, it really was a, a opportunity for us to all, I think, see that like galvanizing and really coming together. Look what we did, cause this was no soul thing. Like, look what we did. Like, at this all, is, this is this is what we did together. And not only that, like, look what the community did. And so that was a big big piece for me. Like, you know, you sometimes you don't know the people that live across the street from you. Sometimes, you know, and fact. we ride past our neighbors every day, but we really aren't in, in tune with like what's going on in my neighbor's house. Not to say that you're supposed to be, but I mean, these, these are people that have probably lived for next to you 20, 30 years. So the idea of connecting with those folks and then them taking a chance on me saying, all right, we're going to get this young, young sister a chance. That that's a feeling I can't I, I could never explain, but I, it was a proud moment. I made my parents proud. Yes. And, and what better feeling to have when your child is to make your parents proud? To make so. your mama proud. Come on. Make her make her want to say that's my baby. Shout out to the that's, that's my baby. My girl. <laughs> that's my girl. That's my bestie for real. All right, you know? now we're gonna take it up. We're gonna take it up just a little little notch okay. here. Your sorority. Yes. Delta, mm-hmm. Delta, Sigma Theta. Hey now, hey now. Being a member, mm-hmm. what is the benefit of even being in a sorority? I mean, the sisterhood. Again, when I when I talk about my journey from being all the way from uh, Carbondale, Illinois, uh-huh. up until now, I pledge April twenty fourth, spring ten. So ten years later, the beat of sisterhood is still drumming. My right. very best friend, uh, Lance, sister is. Shout out to my girl Mo. You know what I'm saying? These are people to to this day that I'm still rocking with. My entire line. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shout out to all the extension. So, you know, these young ladies, they they really, I have a doctor. I have an educator. I have a sociologist. I have a police officer. I have all these circle of women that are around me. And then not only that, let's just, talking about Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated in totality. Mm-hmm. We from here to Okinawa, Japan. So there's Damn. no limit to the amount of what sisterhood does and i mean just everything the the fortitude and resilience of women coming together i mean we were charged with you know january 13th 19, 1913 that's when we were founded and we were founded okay. on the principles of sisterhood service mm-hmm. you know and so those things still ring to me today about being a sister you know and serving the community and just being a a a trailblazer, you know, setting that tone that it's okay to give back and do good. Mm. Now, let's get into some accomplishments. Huh. Being a recipient of the 2019 Woman of Excellence. The, the, woman of Excellence? Um, again, I... Very so very thankful. Major major shout out to the Black Women's Expo, Sharita Childs, um, that entire production. That's I, a praise within itself. Though. I mean, wow, man. And, and how like what is that? What is that feeling coming from where you came from to being this this girl? That's just a, uh, just a regular cool girl that everybody know to being this woman of excellence. It, it means a lot. It means a lot when people think very highly of you. Like, yes, you know, yes. a lot of people tell you, I don't care what nobody thinks. No, we all care what someone thinks of us. We yes. all want to have the imagery and the thought process that somebody feels a very positive light or a, a, we're a positive people. Nobody wants a negative connotation attached to them. And so just to know that, you know, I don't, again, the work is 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 not done for some accolade. The work is done because really it's the need for the work. Mm-hmm. You know, and my, my yes. one piece of doing the work, that sure, just, that just puts a, a, a dent in it. That doesn't even really get to the, but I'm appreciative to have that that opportunity. So for someone to shed light and and just show, show that type of love, Mm-hmm. I'm forever grateful. Um, and major shouts to, to Diana Lewis, too. That is uh, the chief editor, executive director of the Chicago Defender that 
bestowed that honor as well. So I'm very, I'm just, I'm thankful. Like what I, I'm so joyous and so thankful. And I try to remain humble as possible about it all because it's, again, it ain't just me. It's a whole look, it's a whole movement right here, yeah. you know, of folks that I'm so thankful that give me their time and give me their energy and their vibrations for me to go out and do X, Y, and Z like yourself. Did you see this vision? Did you see this vision for yourself? You know what? Or did it come to you to where it's like, I really want to make a change, so let me find out how to do it? I, I honestly believe, like, just how we was talking about what would my parents say about me as a child, I think God has always placed this in me to just be a person of reason, see the good in all things. I think that's one of my, that may be a good and a bad, but I really try to see the good in all things and really try to make a positive moment out of Something even as, as negative as it can be, I try to make a positive moment out of it. And so if we look at that, fast forward to today, mm-hmm. look, I got my Shiro calling now. Um, <laughs> I got the sister calling already. Right. Um, if we look at, at, at today and just kind of what I'm doing, I'm still passing on positivity mm-hmm. in an altruistic way and not mm-hmm. looking past because a person doesn't have X, Y, and Z, just figuring out how we can come together and I could be of an assist. Dope. Dope. Let's talk about Penny Up. Yeah, yeah. What is that? What yes, give me give me some details. Yes, give yes. me some details on what that is. I'm a tell how you created it. Penny Up was inspired back in 2014. Um okay. again, shout out to Chicago Excel Academy. Working there really motivated and inspired me working with these young people. Okay. Um CEA is located at 1257 West 111th Street, small pub. You know, a young person over age or undercredited needing to get their high school diploma in two and a half years. Mm-hmm. Tell them to uh, reach out. You could DM 773-629-8379. But working there, that's what really started my this this whole passion of, you know, teaching young people a multitude of things. And Penny Up was inspired by wanting to do a school prom. And so mm. I was talking to the students like, man, we should get together. We got to do a school prom. And um, this graduating class was just really motivated to be very involved in school and like student government and things like that. So mm. um, it was 14 students exactly. And so the idea came about because I was across the street at Home of the Hoagie. Shout out to Home of the Hoagie <laughs> and them fries. Extra sauce. Okay. But I was... <laughs> I was <laughs> That's my shit. Don't right. go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, he, he, he agreed over here, Cuzzo. Yes, on, sir, Cuzzo. You know what it you is. Know. You know what this is. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm over there, and again, no stranger to not, not, not wanting to not talk to folks. I seen literally pennies scattered across the table. So I began to have a conversation with people about like why nobody picked up the pennies. Man, like, like who would pick up pennies? And so leaving there, I had called my mom and I was like, Mom, like, what if with the pennies, like we picked up all the pennies and we donated the pennies to the prom? And she was like, You should call it penny up, because when you see a penny, you pick it up. That's how you penny up. I'm like, boom, yeah. that's it. That's what it is. Penny up. That's and what so, it but is. then that started the whole conversation like around currency and like how financially lit we are. Yeah, we yes. lit, but are we financially lit? Yes. And so then that turned into a 12 week program where we talked about the basics of financial financial literacy, opening up a banking account versus going to your local currency exchange, Mm -hmm. or maybe even opening up a credit union account versus a savings account. What's the APR? You know, how do I fill out a W-9? Like, what's this tax form? Like, all these different things and pseudos that we really don't talk about in our community. And while I'm serving the basics, sometimes the basics is, is, uh, is, the foundation to what we can be great at, right? As we continue to just learn the introduction of something. So, um, from there, we've done an art show, the 500 Cents Project, where we found 10 artists across the city of Chicago, and they literally created art with pennies. Um, we've done shirts. Um, most recently, we partnered partnered with the uh, Youth Advocate Program. We did a digital six-week financial literacy program. And so just a, doing a little bit of everything to really really understand the penny because a lot of us when we look at a penny we don't it's even just like think it's nothing right it's right just like it's nothing. but abraham lincoln on a penny and so that's who they told you that freed the slaves and so if we look at the color of a penny only a only the penny comes in a variety of shades of melanin similar to a black person so Brown. is the is the alignment here that the black Gold. person is the penny but these mugs is real powerful if we put a hundred of them together and that's a dollar so it's like yes. this whole psychosis of you know, money. So does that coincide with sense of change? Yeah. As so, well? Yeah, that's yeah. that's just like a little play sense of change, change of <laughs> sense. You know. You know. So but. 
I'm trying to see did did you grasp that this was going to be your purpose or is this even your purpose? You know what? It's so funny as you say that. I literally with my girls, we talk about this every day. It's like, well, what else is there to do? It, it, it I always had a feeling like there's got to be more to do or maybe I need to go and refine some of the things that I already currently am doing right. and, and hoing in closer on those. But right. I, I feel like there's always an opportunity to to jump, right? Like you said, nine months ago, you started this. Look <laughs> where we at today. Look I ain't saying me, at. me, but look how many guests you have. You got the intro. We in the studio. It's just like, it's a constant movement. So it's a big thing. It's a big thing. A so big I always thing. feel like it always can be bigger. Yes. Everything can always have a little extra on it. So yes. sometimes I'm I, I'm I'm kind of wondrous, not an opportunist, but wondrous on have I really honed in on my full self and grabs mm-hmm. everything that I was supposed to? Probably not yet, but mm-hmm. I'm in search. I just hope that the good Lord continues to guide me as I know He will. And just putting yourself around a circle of folks that demand success will put you in a whole nother category of yeah. life because yeah. you like huh, it's an extra push you know it's another level hey my girls inspire me every day i mean from the head to the lashes to them doing <laughs> my head they make clothes they do food it'd be like man i'm keeping up because i'm supporting all of them too because i need those services but yeah. it's like man it's just a great feeling that recycle you talk about the girls how close you are with mm-hmm. your friends and things like that Along your journey, did you lose a lot of people because they didn't see the vision? You know what? I honestly don't even know who probably was lost. Because Damn. I, to be honest with you, you know? And the Damn. reason why is because, uh, you know, you, you can know a whole lot of people, but it's a certain few that you're going to kind of like pour into or allow to pour into you. And so I think on, along your journey, one with my, my, my people would say, Oh, she just know everybody. She cool with everybody. I am cool with. I feel that way. Yeah. I'm cool. I feel that yeah. way. I see you on. Play. Look, I'm like, how did it, and it just be, you know what it is. It's those relationships. Like I was talking about earlier, like a lot of folks, I don't know in definitely, but it's just a vibe. It's a good energy. And I'm, I'm, I'm always here to pour, you know, yeah. pass and pour. Yeah. <laughs> that probably sound like I like the, no, y'all. But no, but I'm. I'm I ain't always gonna here. say it, right, but right, right, you no. know, I it, but, it ran through my right, mind right. just a minute. Okay, right. But no, <laughs> I'm just. I'm. I'm really about pro, pro, promoting yes. that that good energy, and so I. I think that people that likely shouldn't have been there they didn't fall off not because i hung them they hung themselves, and so it was Big no fact. need for me to even clip them. Big fact. They they was already clipped from jump. The balance act. Your balancing act, life, friends, still want to kick it, handle business, business moves, sorority work, energy, keeping your mind head on a swivel. How do you how do how do you do all of it? You know what? Shout out to iPhone and that calendar. <laughs> Um, but no, seriously though, you know, you really got to prioritize your time. Uh, sometimes I make the best of my time and sometimes I don't, but it's always a day, you know, a day greater and later to to get it done right. Mm -hmm. And so I work daily. I I probably write a task list from here to, um, to the end of Lake Shore, you know, of things that I need to do. It's really about prioritizing what's most imperative, what's most pertinent, you know, um, and I think everything has its place, you know, and it'll, it, it's a flow as long as you create a flow and don't do, you know, rushing, you yes. know, so yes. I want to tell you, boy, my punctuality, I'm working on it, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really working on being a punctual patty, you know what I mean? But in order to do so, so that means that whatever you were doing prior to, you should have finished that up maybe a little bit earlier to get to. So, you know, it's really making those mental notes. Like these are ways that I could be more efficient because those are some of the things that like being on time, um, keeping yourself together. Mm -hmm. Uh, these are like those unwritten things that will keep you ahead. You ain't lying. That, these are, these <laughs> you are ain't lying. few things that will keep you ahead and keep people still thinking you're an admirable person. That person yeah. can can hold up their responsibility. So, but yeah, yeah that calendar is crucial. I write everything I down. I write everything. See, down. I'm I'm in that. I'm trying to learn that balance act. I'm tr- I'm just with this. I don't even deal with my bookings no more. 
I don't even do that. Okay. I got an assistant for that. Come on. Like she y'all she him? handles all of that. She it gets too crazy. The... It gets too crazy. But the I DMs it. come in, everything start getting busy. Yeah. But now also I'm trying to keep the business tight too. Okay. Cause in a way, I'm showing people how to invest in themselves. So yes, you probably didn't go through the process because you're something you're somebody that i know and i needed this look i needed to get to know you on another level because i see what's happening Mm -hmm. but to people who really trying to do something on the up and coming they they have to go through this process of learning that i invested in i invested in myself I invested into myself. Mm-hmm. You have to invest in yours. Absolutely. And that's what you did even with your businesses because it didn't start from the top. No. You had to grow this whole situation. And now people are respecting it. So my time, I feel like right now at this point, is valuable. It is. Yeah, I don't want nobody wasting it because right. I could be with my kids if you're going to BS with my time now. So... I had to ask, like, with everything that you had on your damn plate. Because it's crazy for me. And I got yeah. three of them. I got three girls. Ooh, so they need bless, time. Yeah, bless your heart. I know you're an awesome father. So I always see you on Insta with the ladies. But you, you ain't going to see these grades, though. I can tell you that shit, though. <laughs> no, no, I don't see no grades. But shout out to that. Shout yes, out to fatherhood. Yes, yes, yes. And, yes. and that. Uh, that's strong. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So, speaking on another level, I'm going to jump in and I'm going to jump out. What's the relationship status looking like? Yo, we can talk about it. Come on with it. Come on with it. Single as a Pringle. Hey, hit it. Hey, hit (laughs) it. Go ahead and turn it up just a little bit. Single as a Pringle. Let's figure this out. I'm going to be honest with you. You know what? It's um, It's been interesting, to say the least. You know what? It's all about, here's the thing. I never say that I needed a wolf on Wall Street, but I don't mind if you are. It's a man that has ambition. He has to have a lot of ambition because Mm. I do. And um, I think we're we're just in a different age and a different realm of dating, if you will, Mm. in totality. Like, people don't date. And the real thing is people don't court. And you got to court. Chivalry is not dead. You know, ain't no Netflix and you know chilling what? over here. I, I, I'm gonna give a little pushback on that. I I feel like we 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 date. I'm I'm married, so I'm out the game. You, you out the game. I'm out the game. I love Push. it. Yes, I'm out the game. But I feel like it's you have to show a man how to treat you, and not a lot of women have the standards. There it is. The standards make the demand. Boom. Boom. And they and they not giving it to him. They not setting it out. Up front, the Netflix and chill. Let's go do that. But that ain't the way, though. Mm-hmm. That's just honestly, I'm a man. It's a trick. <laughs> but I mean, it's sometimes it can be cool. But what yeah. about the little small things? Opening the car doors. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Opening the car doors. Open the. It ain't lost. You just have to teach that. You you're right. You know what? I, and I, I mean, I'm going deep here, but it really it it just goes back to just how people were raised, what they saw at a at a young age, mm-hmm. and so whatever that standard was, mm-hmm. it really goes back to that being the root. And I mean, we listen to it in the songs all day. Of course, I didn't bump something that's look, BRS Cash, Go Baby. That's the mm-hmm. edited part right there. Mm-hmm. I'm just mm-hmm. saying, mm-hmm. and we be because <laughs> I be uh, 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 uh. but whole time like that's not that's not acceptable because could no man tell me that what yeah it'll be done deal but so so it's just like media has controlled that thought process like baby girl yeah. you gonna get this four wing we on the pull up and that's what it is so what unfortunately does, what what does the ideal man look like to you what is what does he have to i mean you you broke it down just a mm-hmm. little bit of what he has to have but what does he look like what is this dream Man, is, hmm. is, is he chocolate? Is he light skin? Is does he have a beard? Does is he naked? Face? Okay, I, I well, like the beard. He definitely tall. Y'all know I'm six too. I didn't talk to a short guy before, shorter guy before. Um, so I did. I, I won't necessarily um, uh, say that he can't be, you know, short. But uh, he's he probably caramel and or just deep chocolate. He got a beard on him. What about the light skin? 
Uh, come on, man. What about the light skin? Listen, I'm high yellow. I'm a high. I'm enough high yellow for both of us. I'm six two, so this enough high yellow for for both of us. All right, I'm tapped out, man. I ain't. Little beard, you know. Okay. Smells good. I smelt him before he hit the door. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Who is that? Clean cut. I like a good bald head. I'm a bald head, so nice fade. But but really has can 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 talk conversation. Right. You can't come with me and and we can't talk theology, politics, a fact. just a little bit of education, a little bit of everything. Well rounded, you know. Mm-hmm. Don't stand on the wall. We out like mingle. You That's know it. what I mean? Yeah. Um, just confident. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing like a confident man because a confident man is an ambitious man nine times out of ten. Big fact. And he's going out to conquer the world. Big fact. With, 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 without any regard. And so that's important to me. Yeah. Do you ball? I do. You still ball? Yeah. Last time I was, uh, I guess, on a hooping hooping, I was coaching over at uh, CVS. Mm. That was maybe about two years mm. or so ago. I get out there every now and again. I ain't as, you know, th- these legs and all everything don't move as <laughs> like they used to. I, okay. Are you, is this a challenge? What, 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 what we doing? What we doing? What we doing? You got the I understand. Here. I understand it. I understand. You 6'2". I'm 5'8", 5'9". That's okay. I'm 5'9 with my Tims on. That's okay. But I'm ready. I, what y'all we doing? See him. He pulled out the big mic. And on. I... And, the and, big mic. And I donate. If we'll figure this out. We're going to play this. We, oh, we, we can't pop- play this shooting game. I donate. I donate if you beat me. On the popping shot. On on the popping shot. Y'all heard it here first. Y'all heard it. You here heard first. it here, and we are gonna do it, and we are gonna record it. Boom. Y'all hear? I just had I just had to see if you still ball. Yeah. I, I just had to see if you got it. Get out there, I still. Okay. Do All right. I ain't I got to get it, but we, I just had to check. We can still move and groove. <laughs> <laughs> are you striving? Are you striving for success or greatness? Because neither one of them. Are the same. Mm-hmm. So I need to. Where you at? I'm striving for greatness. Mm. Every day I strive to be great. Um, and every day we can all strive to be great. It's all about you know changing your delivery, your tone, um, your attitude. Your attitude is your altitude. So yes. when you have a positive mindset, I, yes. I think that goes deep and far. So I'm. I'm that's a daily um, work ethic. At that, I, I truly believe that. Um, it's important for us to like really just hone in on self and just ins- like figure out like what could I do to just kind of be a more better or real rounded person to me mm-hmm. and what could I do that's going to open up the pathways or maybe make something a bit uh, more fluid for me in my life yes. uh, you know, what could I do to get my health on, on track? What can I do to get my mental state on track? And I think it's really important because once you have a holistic approach to self mm-hmm. and, and what you're doing, mm-hmm. your every day or and just your interaction with folks is just totally different. Yes. You know what I mean? We got to reserve what we get mad at. I think that's a lot of times what leads to all the different diseases in the world is mm-hmm. we really got to reserve what what we get mad at. I can go zero to 100 real quick, too, but it's important to, you know, <laughs> pick, you know what I'm saying? Pick and choose your battles. When your parents used to tell yes. you, pick and choose your battles. Like, those are all little little, little gems that yes. you could take straight to today and just, it's all about how you move. Slow down. Take your time. You know what I'm saying? Take Listen. your time, young yeah. man. Come on. Yeah, take your yeah. time. Yeah. 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 Come on, with, uh, no, right. you should don't know. Like, no bullshit, no bullshit. Y'all, I'm 33. It. Don't let him play with y'all. I'm 33 too. What you trying okay, to say? Okay, yeah, well, we are old. But yeah, we old. We old. It's okay. We season. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. Go no, ahead. I'm yeah. just. It, it's just really important to take your time. Really listen. I think sometimes we quick to talk before we listen. And these are all, I'm telling you, straight things that I work on on a daily basis. You yes. know what I mean? You be thinking like, damn, I just stubbed my toe. Like, you you, you know what I'm Like, little things that be messing with you all day. Like, what's going on? You just got to slow it down yes. and really listen. Because every the world be talking to you. God be talking to you. I mean, he's always talking. And pray. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times, I mean, prayer is everywhere. Prayer is definitely when you get down on your knees at night. 
But yes. prayer is everywhere. When you're in your car just talking, what you taking in on a daily basis, like sometimes we got to cut the music off and listen to something a bit more informative that's going to get the cerebellum going. Mm-hmm. The brain, y'all. The brain. Cere- <laughs> that's another word, man. <laughs> That's that's Shout that's out another, to my good boy Ti. That's, she, she, that's that's another Ti word, man. Even no. though it's easy, go, come on, man. these damn words. You elevate my shit, so I'm cool. Don't Let's worry. About it. I saw you do some dope shit. You in a village in Ecuador, helping helping families. How did that come about? Give me some details. Man, well, look, even prior to that, 10 years ago, I went to Africa and went to a village in Garumo and uh, oh. lived with a family for about a week and a half. And, Where? Uh, in Garumo, which is uh, East Africa in Kenya. That was in uh, 2010. Uh-huh. And we stayed the, the we stayed New Year's there. So we were there for New Year's. And it was an amazing. Never forget a Mama Anna. Um, they my Facebook friends on here to this day. Uh, one of the wow. most humbling experiences I've ever had. And the amazing people of Africa I had went with, at that time, our vice chancellor of diversity. He's actually from the village of Karumo. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Dr. Gatal, Dr. Peter Gatal. Hey, um, great shout man. out. Yeah, great man. So that was awesome. And then fast forward to Ecuador. Ecuador, I'm a part of a advisory council, a teacher advisory council called WE. And WE mm-hmm. is a is a one day annual production that brings about i say about oh anywhere roughly from seven to ten thousand students together at the all-state arena and we celebrate those students for their hard work in giving back and so giving back can be in a multitude of ways they have the love campaign they have the water campaign they have a variety of campaigns that students can um, participate in to show them giving back either in a third world country and or in their neighborhood and so from being on the council one of the uh, projects that we had did, this is when I was in the same, underneath the same umbrella at Excel Academies, but I was over at our Southwest campus and those students had did a poster campaign. It was a PSA campaign to say, I'm from 71st and I play chess because a lot of times we stigmatize where young people are from. That must be, they must be slanging and or this or that. Yeah. And so we wanted to shift that idea and that narrative and say, I'm from 63rd and I get straight A's. And so those posters hung all around the city of Chicago through the 17th and 18th war to yeah. you know put a light on that on young people doing great things from the hood and um, so from there we chose me um, one of 11 uh, teachers across uh, the state of state of Illinois the country of Canada and uh, I want to say in California in the state of California and uh, we went out there it took four hours to get there it took 12 hours to get into the village and then another four hour boat ride to get into this little island um where we were and it was absolutely amazing the we organization is just general it's amazing they've built this island so that the folks that the ecuadorians that stay in ecuador will have a place to work to you know to just kind of house themselves and do their daily one too uh, but it was an amazing experience, uh, and I had to throw it out there. Being two of two of eleven, um, two of us were black. Mm-hmm. Um, just that vast experience of I never forget. Shout out to Shannon Bosa. That was my shout out. <laughs> that was my funny story, y'all. I had braids in, right? So one day I woke <laughs> up. I told I had took the braids out. <laughs> Shannon was knocked out. I told Shannon, I'm like the water. All my hair's gone. She she was freaking out. I'm like, Shannon, it was weave, girl. So let me give you this lesson <laughs> about your black babies when you go back to Canada. That I just took it out. It's it's just weave, baby. It's just weave. So me and her grew grew very close. Still talk to her to this day. Yeah. Um, she's an awesome woman doing some great things back in Canada. But again, those experiences, I talked to all those women, but of course her because she was my roommate. Yeah. But just being in Ecuador and and once again being enveloped into um, doing that type of work we had did a water walk where we literally went and fetched three gallons of water and put it through their filtration system and it's those little things that it's not little but big things that make you realize you we have so much to be grateful for like we can go and turn on our water and I know that's cliche yeah. but that's no, a it's real the small thing things. it's the small, it's small things thing. we take advantage of so yes. just be grateful love yours J. Cole said the best love on love yours. yours love yes. yours love be happy for where you at like be happy, but that was an awesome, awesome experience. I mean, absolutely amazing. Quick question before, because I I know we on time. But no, it's all good. Who does the go to go to 
Mm. When shit gets stressful for you and it, it gets becomes a low, who do you turn to to where it's like, I, I just need these words, God. Like, like put me, I don't, want, I don't want it no more. Who calms you down and brings you to the back down to earth? My mom and dad. Your mom. Yeah, definitely too. Like I, again, I y'all heard me say it earlier, but my mom is my absolute best friend. My dad is my absolute best friend too. Me and my mom just had that kinship. Mm-hmm. Same with my dad. You know, it's both of them. But I, I just feel like they're my voice of reason. And if nobody else in the world could tell me, Kobe, you wrong or you right, that that they, they're gonna tell me. They're gonna tell me stern. It ain't gonna be no oh because you know I'm your you know, you're my daughter, that this is what it is. And so I'm very thankful. And, and, and our parents, love on your parents, y'all. You know, maybe somebody out there, you haven't talked to your parent in quite some time, you need to call them because yeah. it's really important. We only get those two. And right, wrong, weak, strong, it's important that we have relationship because that's wisdom. And yes. that's who God in, intended for you to be with. You that's can't it. divorce your parents. You like, can't. that's 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 locked in for life. You know, these are your people. So... I, I go to them that they're, they're wise. They they've been through many of the things I've already been through. Yes. And I get yeah. that. Yeah. When the last time you've been vulnerable? Hmm. I would say at the very top of this year, I was very vulnerable because I'm kind of in the like what like okay this the pandemic like what am I about to do like what's yeah. going on you know the babies with the education and the remote learning and you know I bottled up that energy and started a vending machine business. Shit. Who, where do you get that idea from? You know what? I was just like, man, that person of product mobility is going to be the, the the next thing going. I mean, people literally, Uber right now, they're going to say they're going to leave your food at the door. It's like, dang, y'all taking all the conversation out. But okay, we're going to text about it and say thank you instead of saying yeah. thank you in person. So for me, I was like, man, I was looking at the vending business overall. Had talked about it, did a little research on it. And I was like, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity to create that passive income I'm looking for while not having to really be, you know, on it. And I was just looking. It wasn't a lot of folks doing vending that I really knew of, you know. So creatively customized vending. We literally think outside of the vending box. We could put anything in the vending machine. Say that one more time for the people in the back creatively customized vending y'all we hey. literally think outside of the vending box that's our motto that's what's up that is so. what's up now before we get up out of here woo, i got this game it's called the 10 name game okay let me get my chair straight yeah you gotta get it straight go ahead and get together i'm gonna fire off 10 things or 10 names and you have to give me your answer in a one word answer the first thing that pop in your mind in a one word answer Okay. So it's gonna be random. It's gonna be out the box. But you gotta answer. All right. All right. You ready? Let's go. Here you go. Lingerie. Boy shorts. It's not a one word answer. I, well, you can put them together. No space. Okay. Thong. Hey, I like that. <laughs> we got it. We got one. We got one. Harvey. Second. One word answer. The sip. That's really. Sibley. 155. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn Palmer. Who? Carolyn Palmer. Uncertain. I saw it in some of this stuff. She must have wrote about you or something like that. You're right. I mean, I mean, I, I did homework. You know, man. Yes. You forgot about it. Right. <laughs> I love you, Miss Palmer. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. She on your ass. Damn. But go ahead. One, one word answer. You know it now. Esteemed. Hey. Thornridge. 05. The Rugrats. Angelica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love. Myself. Passion. Children. R&B. Cole. Okay. 
Two more. You ready? Family. Forever. Last one. Kobe. Ooh, I don't... Chapman. <laughs> that was so weak. That was so lame, y'all. I give, so I give, I give you okay, one more on. track. Okay. Let, let me, let's create the moment again. Okay. Because it got serious, yeah, I know it did. I know it did. Kobe. One word. Describe yourself in one word. Mm-hmm. Change. Now nah, that's better. That's better. Clap it up. 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 I like. I like that one. That's a. That's a good one. I, I mean, like. I like I how mean, you I'm, did I'm that. I'm gonna get paid for this all this one day. I'm gonna <laughs> no, get paid for all this. One you. Day. It's coming. Hit it. What we give her? What's the grade? I'm about to give her a B. You gonna give her a B? Yeah. B. She fumbled. She fumbled. Yeah, she fumbled, fumbled a little bit. She fumbled, fumbled a little bit. Y'all, I big fumbled. fumbled on that. <laughs> I big fumbled on that. Kobe. I appreciate you. Oh, man, got him. I appreciate you so much for being who you are, being the energy that you are, the way you look. Hey. Thank just, you. Just everything yeah. that you're doing, the most amazing out-the-box creativeness that you have done and inspired or even inspired to do even more, you got my support. Wow. I'm here for you. Wow, Gotti again. You are amazing. I, I am just, I'm very, 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 very thankful. Again, this is where bridge building looks like. When good, when great people link up, it's an immense amount of things that we could do. You know what immense. I mean? And so, what is immense? Is that another word? Immense, large. Immense. Oh, okay. Yeah, large and in charge. Why don't you just say big? Because I can't just <laughs> say big. Because you are immense. You're not big. We doing synonyms tonight. Okay. Um. All right. But 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 thank you for again being a voice of reason because again it's these platforms that expose things. Everybody not tapping ABC Seven and everybody not you know Thanks. logging into everything and so to know that you're a one stop shop on what the world needs to hear, what the streets need to hear, what it these is. communities need to hear. I'm very thankful and thank you for thinking enough of me to invite me Shh. on. Shit. You know well, what I'm we saying? We had that conversation in the DM. It was on. Yeah, like it was I'm, on. I'm I'm very appreciative. Make sure y'all. Do y'all self a favor and tune in each and every... You know it. Thursday. Period. And get to catch the clips. I <laughs> drop clips every day. Every day. Let, t- let's talk about that shirt, too. What? Ah, oh, the merch. Know. She Come on with Hey, the she's merch. a pro. She's a pro hitter. <laughs> this is the young guy. The young guy. I feel guy. like we all gods. We are. And goddesses. But in order for me to get that across... I use my name, Gotti. Yes. Go over time to invent. And that's with anything. Oh. You know what I mean? Okay. That's with anything that we do. We go over time to invent. Put your all into it. Put your ass into it. Yes. So. Your gluteus maximus, guys. Get, here she go. Here she go. <laughs> here she go. <laughs> she made a cold moment funny in his ass. <laughs> Oh, man. But, yeah, that's the merch. That's the Young Guy it. merch. Please get that on every... Definitely. Hit, hit me. Hit me. Cash okay. app. Medium, Hand please. to hand. Hand to hand. Medium, please. I got you. Hit. I got you. Tell everybody how they can get in contact with you and everything that you have going, please. Absolutely. So, uh, also, major shouts to the Link Up. The Link Up. Link is, Up. We shout all, out. Yeah, major shouts to the Link Up. We coming back. Uh, this Christmas we are selecting a women's shelter and we're going to be providing some gifts and some dinner Um, so major shouts to the link up major shouts to Mo and uh, as far as Penny Up stay tuned we have a float museum in the works across the city so be on the lookout for that and then creatively customized vending CC vending underscore if you need a placement and your business apartment a warehouse whatever 
Think outside of the vending box, 708-320-9214. And then follow me personally at Sense of Change, C-E-N-T-S of Change. And so thank you all. Again, major shouts to this young brother. Y'all better stay tuned. I'm getting an autograph you now. You already know. You already yeah, know. Pick. And y'all already know where y'all can find me on IG, official underscore Y-U-N-G Gotti. Also on Facebook, Irvin Woods Jr. Please follow, tap, subscribe. My YouTube page, Gotti's World Media. Please subscribe to that. I need y'all... You got it. You got it on me right here. Stop being. Don't be a nigga, okay? <laughs> don't be a nigga. Please subscribe to the damn YouTube page. Don't, don't like, comment, and subscribe. I need y'all subscribe, man. Don't just watch it. Stop being a nigga, man. But how I before I go, I gotta end this show with two things. I gotta ask you for two things. Yes. Okay. What's that? First. I need 10 followers from you. That's it. Absolutely. I, need, I don't on. need 20. I don't need hey, 30. I need 10 from Can I get y'all to come on here right now? Official Y-U-N-G-G-O-T-T-I. Official Young Gotti. Each and 10. every Thursday. We need 100. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. And the second thing is, I just need you to be safe. That's it. I just need you to be safe. I need you to watch yourself. Everything that's going on is a dark cloud in the city. And I just need you to protect yourself and be and be well. Thank you. Thank That's you. It. I appreciate it. Likewise to you. That's it. And uh, very Merry Christmas, though. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And this everything. will drop before the end of the year. So okay. it's on. It's on. It's on. Well, y'all stay get, tuned. Yes. We finna get up out of here. But before we go, how I end this show. Thank you, God, for another episode. Yes. Thank you, God, for this beautiful woman here. This Thank beautiful you. talent. Thank you, God, for a cousin. Oh. Looking after her, being with her. Thank yeah, you, brother. For sure. Thank you, God, for my engineer, engineer. my boy Hitter. Yep. Hitter. Also, Envion. <laughs> Envion Studios. Thank you for my home. This is my home. I ain't going nowhere. This is another one. Got my girl Kobe. Kobe Chapman. Hey. We out of here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Newness, here's the anthem. Put your hand up that you shoot with, count your loot with. Push the pool stick in your new crib, same hand that.